Hello, this is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator of the East Bridgewater Public Schools, and this is an overview of how you can easily manipulate a PDF to um, cut out pages. So important to note, I did get a free PDF ebook from the Library of Congress, so it is um, public domain. So I was able to download a large 310 page PDF. So you'll see that here. Um, it's right now it's sitting in my internet browser, and I downloaded this free PDF long book. Now let's say I only want to use one chapter of the book and I want to send it out to my class. Well, first thing I need to do is chop out 310 of those pages. So it is important to note this was on the Library of Congress, open, open domain. And I'm going to go see, let's see, chapter one starts on page three of this book. However, when I go to chapter one, on the PDF. It may not be the same page because they have Roman numerals as their beginning pages. I'm going to go find that chapter one that I want to use. Here we go. Starts here. And notice this is page 27. So I'm going to go see where it ends. It ends at page 34. So I'm going to hit print. I don't want to forget my pages, so I'm going to hit custom. I'm going to say 27 through 34. And now up here, I'm going to choose save as PDF. And now I'm going to hit save. And notice it's going to ask to save it or download it. This would work on a Chromebook too, and you would have it in your downloads. I will rename it. And I'll go put it in my downloads here. And then to use for my Google Classroom, I'm going to go need to upload it to my Google Drive, and then I can place it in Google Classroom. Now, if I go take a look at my downloads, I need to go find it. Here we go, Hacking Gmail Chapter 1. Notice it is only that now manageable chapter. And you can do that with custom pages as well. If I only wanted certain pages of this, I can hit print again. And I can do a custom. So take a look, pages, custom. And notice it tells me I can even do, notice the example, maybe I want pages 34 through 37. And then I also want them to read a part of a different page. I would put a comma. And then maybe I want page 10. And then maybe I want another page. So you'll take a look at that. Take some time to play with that there. And I can save as PDF. So not a very good example here as it's not running right there. But you get the idea. And that's how you can manipulate a PDF into manageable pieces that you can use. Thank you.